practice exam for medical surgical nursing number 4. Question 1. The nurse is performing her admission assessment of a patient. When grading arterial pulses, a 1 plus pulse indicates A. Above normal perfusion B. Absent perfusion C. Normal perfusion D. Diminished perfusion Answer D. A1 plus pulse indicates weak pulses and is associated with diminished perfusion. A4 plus is bounding perfusion, a3 plus is increased perfusion, a2 plus is normal perfusion, and 0 is absent perfusion. Question 2. Murmurs that indicate heart disease are often accompanied by other symptoms such as A. Dyspnea on exertion. B. Subcutaneous emphysema. C. Thoracic patachia. D. Periobital edema. Answer A. A murmur that indicates heart disease has often accompanied by dyspnea on exertion, which is a hallmark of heart failure. Other indicators are tachycardia, syncope, and chest pain. Subcutaneous emphysema, thoracic patachia, and periobital edema aren't associated with murmurs and heart disease. Question 3. Which pregnancy-related physiologic change would place the patient with a history of cardiac disease at the greatest risk of developing severe cardiac problems? A. Decrease heart rate. B. Decrease cardiac output. C. Increased plasma volume. D. Increased blood pressure. Answer. D. A1 plus p Question 2. Murmurs that indicate heart disease are often accompanied by other symptoms such as A. Dyspnea on exertion. B. Subcutaneous emphysema. C. Thoracic patachia. D. Periobital edema. Question 4. The priority nursing diagnosis for the patient with cardiomyopathy is A. Anxiety related to risk of declining health status. B. Ineffective individual coping related to fear of debilitating illness. C. Fluid volume excess related to altered compensatory mechanisms. D. Decreased cardiac output related to reduced myocardial contractility. Answer D. Decreased cardiac output related to reduced myocardial contractility is the greatest threat to the survival of a patient with cardiomyopathy. The other options can be addressed once cardiac output and myocardial contractility have been restored. Question 5. A patient with thrombophlebitis reached her expected outcomes of care. Her affected leg appears pink and warm. Her pedal pulse is palpable and there is no edema present. Which step in the nursing process is described above? A. Planning. B. Implementation. C. Analysis. D. Evaluation. Answer. D. Evaluation assesses the effectiveness of the treatment plan by determining if the patient has met the expected treatment outcome. Planning refers to designing a plan of action that will help the nurse deliver quality patient care. Implementation refers to all of the nursing interventions directed towards solving the patient's nursing problems. Analysis is the process of identifying the patient's nursing problems. Question 6. An elderly patient may have sustained a basilar skull fracture after slipping and falling on an icy sidewalk. 
the nurse knows that bacillus sculfactures a are the least significant type of skull fracture b may have caused cerebrospinal fluid csf leaks from the nose or ears c have no characteristic findings d are always surgically repaired <laughs> Question 7. Which of the following types of drugs might be given to control increased intracranial pressure ICP? A. Barbiturates. B. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. C. Anticholinergics. D. Histamine receptor blockers. <laughs> Answer A. Barbiturates may be used to induce a coma in a patient with increased ICP. This decreases cortical activity and cerebral metabolism, reduces cerebral blood volume, decreases cerebral edema, and reduces the brain's need for glucose and oxygen. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors are used to decrease ocular pressure or to decrease the serum pH in a patient with metabolic alkalosis. Anticholine ergics have many uses including reducing GI spasms. Histamine receptor blockers are used to decrease stomach acidity. Question 8. The nurse is teaching family members of a patient with a concussion about the early signs of increased intracranial pressure ICP. Which of the following would she cite as an early sign of increased ICP? A. Decreased systolic blood pressure. B. Headache and vomiting. C. Inability to wake the patient with noxious stimuli. D. Dilated pupils that don't react to light. Answer. D. Decreased cardiac output related to reduced myocardial contractility is the greatest threat to the survival of a patient with cardiomyopathy. The other options can be addressed once cardiac output and myocardial contract. Question 9. Jesse James is diagnosed with retinal detachment. Which intervention is the most important for this patient? A. Admitting him to the hospital on strict bed rest. B. Patching both of his eyes. C. Referring him to an ophthalmologist. D. Preparing him for surgery. Answer. A. Barbiturates may be. Question 8. The nurse is teaching family members of a patient with a concussion about the early signs of increased intracranial pressure ICP. Which of the following would she cite as an early sign of increased ICP? A. Decreased systolic blood pressure. B. Headache and vomiting. C. Inability to wake the patient with noxious stimuli. D. Dilated pupils that don't react to light. <laughs> Answer. D. Decreased cardiac. Question 9. Jesse James is diagnosed with retinal detachment. Which intervention is the most important for this patient? 
A. Admitting him to the hospital on strict bed rest. B. Patching both of his eyes. C. Referring him to an ophthalmologist. D. Preparing him for surgery. Answer A. Barbiturates may be used to induce a coma in a patient with increased TICP. This decreases cortical activity and cerebral metabolism, reduces cerebral blood volume, decreases cerebral edema, and reduces the brain's need for glucose and oxygen. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors are used to decrease ocular pressure or to decrease the serum pH. Question 8. The nurse is teaching fa- Answer, D. Decreased cardiac output related to reduced myocardial contractility is the greatest threat to the survival of a patient with cardiomyopathy. The other options can be addressed once cardiac output and myocardial contractility have been restored. Question 9. Jesse James is diagnosed. Question 8. The nurse is teaching family members of a patient with a concussion about the early signs of increased intracranial pressure ICP. Which of the following would she cite as an early sign of increased ICP? A. Decreased systolic blood pressure. B. Headache and vomiting. C. Inability to wake the patient with noxious... <laughs> Question 9. Jesse James is diagnosed with retinal detachment. Which intervention is the most important for this patient? A. Admitting him to the hospital on strict bed rest. B. Patching both of his eyes. C. Referring him to an ophthalmologist. D. Preparing him for surgery. <laughs> Question 9. Jesse James is diagnosed with retinal detachment. Which intervention is the most important for this patient? A. Admitting him to the hospital on strict bed rest. B. Patching both of his eyes. C. 
referring him to an ophthalmo- Answer D. Decreased cardiac output related to reduced myocardial contractility is the greatest threat to the survival of a patient with cardiomyopathy. The other options can be addressed once cardiac output and myocardial contractility have been restored. Answer D. Decreased cardiac output related to reduced myocardial contractility is the greatest threat to the survival of a patient with cardiomyopathy. The other options can be addressed once cardiac output and myocardial contractility have been restored. <laughs>
Answer D. Men with spinal cord injury should be taught that the higher the level of the lesion, the better their sexual function will be. The sacral region is the lowest area on the spinal column and injury to this area will cause more erectile dysfunction. Answer D. A1 plus P. Answer D. Men with spinal. Answer D. A1 plus pulse indicates weak pulses and is associated with diminished perfusion. A4 plus is bounding perfusion, a3 plus is increased perfusion. A 2 plus is normal perfusion, and 0 is absent perfusion. Answer A. Early symptoms of ALS include fatigue while talking, dysphagia, and weakness of the hands and arms. ALS doesn't cause a change in mental status paresthesia, or fractures. Answer A. Barbiturates may be used to induce a coma in a patient with increased ICP. This decreases cortical activity and cerebral metabolism, reduces cerebral blood volume, decreases cerebral edema, and reduces the brain's need for glucose and oxygen. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors are used to decrease ocular pressure or to Answer D. Men with spinal cord injury should be taught that the higher the level of the lesion, the better their sexual function will be. The sacral region is the lowest area on the spinal column and injury to this area will cause more erectile dysfunction. Answer A. Early symptoms of Answer A. Barbiturates may be used to induce a coma in a patient with increased ICP. This decreases cortical activity and cerebral metabolism, reduces cerebral blood volume, decreases cerebral edema, and reduces the brain's need for glucose and oxygen.
carbonic anhydrase inhibitors are used to decrease ocular pressure or to decrease the serum pH in a patient with metabolic alkalosis. <laughs>
barbiturates may be used to induce a coma in a patient with increased TICP. This decreases cortical activity and cerebral metabolism, reduces cerebral blood volume, decreases cerebral edema, and reduces the brain's need for glucose and oxygen. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors are used to decrease ocular pressure or to decrease the serum pH in a patient with metabolic alkalosis. Anticholine ergics have many uses including reducing GI spasms. Histamine receptor blockers are question 32. Particles move from an area of greater osmolarity to one of lesser osmolarity through a. Active transport b. Osmosis c. Diffusion d. Filtration Answer c. If the patients <laughs> Answer A. Barbiturates may be. Question 32. Particles move from an area of greater osmolarity to one of lesser osmolarity through A. Active transport B. Osmosis C. Diffusion D. Filtration <laughs> Question 4. The priority nursing diagnosis for the patient with cardiomyopathy is A. Anxiety related to risk of declining health status B. Ineffective individual coping related to fear of debilitating illness C. Fluid volume excess related to altered compensatory mechanisms Question 32. Particles move Question 3. Which pregnancy-related physiologic change would place the patient with a history of cardiac disease at the greatest risk of developing severe cardiac problems? A. Decrease heart rate. B. Decrease cardiac output. C. Increased plasma volume. D. Increased blood pressure.
Question 4. The priority nursing diagnosis for the patient with cardiomyopathy is A. Anxiety related to risk of declining health status B. Ineffective individual coping related to fear of debilitating illness C. Fluid volume excess related to altered compensatory mechanisms D. Decreased cardiac output related to reduced mind Question 7. Which of the following types of drugs might be given to control increased intracranial pressure ICP? A. Barbiturates. B. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. C. Anticholinergics. D. Histamine receptor blockers. Answer D. Decreased cardiac output related to reduced myocardial contractility is the greatest threat to the survival of a patient with cardiomyopathy. The other options can be addressed once cardiac output and myocardial contractility have been restored. Answer D. A1 plus pulse indicates weak pulses and is associated with diminished perfusion. A4 plus is bounding perfusion, a3 plus is increased perfusion, a2 plus is normal perfusion, and 0 is absent perfusion. Question 7. Which of the following types of drugs might be given to control increased intracranial pressure ICP? A. Barbiturates. B. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. C. Anticholinergics. D. Histamine receptor blockers. Answer D. Decreased cardiac. Answer C. Although post operative pain is expected, the nurse should ensure that other factors, such as an obstructed irrigation catheter, aren't the cause of the pain. After assessing catheter patency, the nurse should administer an analgesic such as meparidine as prescribed. Increasing the IV flow rate may worsen the pain. Notifying the doctor isn't necessary unless the pain is severe or unrelieved by the prescribed medication.
Question 7. Which of the following types of... Answer D. Decreased cardiac output related to reduced myocardial contractility is the greatest threat to the survival of a patient with cardiomyopathy. The other options can be addressed once cardiac output and myocardial contractility have been restored. Answer C. Although post op. Answer A. Ureterolithiasis typically causes such acute, severe pain that the patient can't rest and becomes increasingly anxious. Therefore, the nursing diagnosis of pain takes highest priority. Risk for infection and altered urinary elimination are appropriate once the patient's pain is controlled. Altered nutrition. Less than body requirements isn't appropriate at this time. Question 9. Jesse James is diagnosed with retinal detachment. Which intervention is the most important for this patient? A. Admitting him to the hospital on strict bed rest. B. Patching both of his eyes. C. Referring him to an ophthalmologist. D. Preparing him for surgery. Question 7. Which of the following types of drugs might be given to control increased intracranial pressure ICP? A. Barbiturates. B. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. C. Anticholinergics. D. Histamine receptor blockers. Question 8. The nurse is teaching family members of a patient with a concussion about the early signs of increased intracranial pressure ICP. Which of the following would she cite as an early sign of increased ICP? A. Decreased systolic blood pressure. B. Headache and vomiting. C. Inability to wake the patient with noxious stimuli. D. Dilated pupils. Question 9. Jesse James is diagnosed with retinal detachment. Which intervention is the most important for this patient? A. Admitting him to the hospital. Question 7. Which of the following types of... Question 8. The nurse is teaching family members of a patient with a concussion about the early signs of increased intracranial pressure ICP. Which of the following would she cite as an early sign of increased ICP? A. Decreased systolic blood pressure. B. Headache and vomiting. C. <laughs> Question 9. 
Answer A. Barbiturates. Maybe. Answer D. The bladder isn't usually palpable unless it is distended. The feeling of pressure is usually relieved with urination. Reduced bladder tone due to general anesthesia is a common post-operative complication that causes difficulty in voiding. A urinary tract infection and renal calculi ant palpable. The kidneys ant palpable above the symphysis pubis. <laughs>Answer A. Barbiturates may be used to induce a coma in a patient with increased ICP. This decreases cortical activity and cerebral metabolism, reduces cerebral blood volume, decreases cerebral edema, and reduces the brain's need for glucose and oxygen. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors are used to decrease ocular pressure or to decrease the serum pH in a patient with metabolic alkalosis. Anticholine. Answer D. The bladder isn't. U Answer D. The bladder isn't usually palpable unless it is distended. The feeling of pressure is usually relieved with urination. Reduced bladder tone due to general anesthesia is a common post operative complication that causes difficulty in voiding. A urinary tract infection and renal calculi ant palpable. <laughs>
the brace isn't to be removed for any other reason until the cervical fracture is healed. Placing a pillow under the patient's head may alter the stability of the brace. Question 9. Jesse James is diagnosed with retinal detachment.